And we continue learning Dirshu Mishnah Bura together, beginning a new simon. Simon Tzadi Aleph Baruch Hashem. We're basically caught up to date. And today we begin Simon Tzadi Aleph and Elchis Fila, in which the Machaber coins, Sheyezer Masna Vichaser Roshay Vishas Tfila. Very famous halacha is how you should gird yourself, wear a belt, and as well cover your head at the time of davening. Says the Machaber Sif Aleph, Haisa Talis Chagura Al Masnav. You have to be wearing pants or a talis, a cloak from your waist and downward. So if you're only wearing something from the waist downward, you're not going to dive in until you cover your heart. Continues the Machaber. If you did not, well, let's say it's an oinus and you can't. Perhaps one's on the beach and he's wearing a bathing suit and nothing else. So his heart is revealed. Because he covered his heart and he davened, therefore he is yaitse. And obviously the lotion of that he davened already is a lotion of bidi evid. So let's see the Mishabur over here. Sivkatan alf. And that's really going to be the coin phrase for this simon that you're standing in front of the king. You need to do with fear and trepidation. How are you doing it bare chested? Similarly, his entire body. Sifkat and Gibel says the Mishnah Berurah Tzalaimah because his erva was covered. Afilu ayam meimasna bulamala arum he is yotze he is yotze bidi. Evan. Now, just we don't usually learn bir alachas, but just to uh, for a moment zoom in on one bir alacha here. He says it's yasa. He says, look at the Rambam. Rambam says lechatchila, you shouldn't do this. And he says the Mishnah Brura comments that's talking about an oines lechatchila mutav shayis val klal. It's better not to daven. Then he found the Maimon Mordechai. Even here, the Ragmi should nenas matir mekrisha mimasav lamala arum. It's only if it's in an einis, but without this reason, you're not. So again, you know, in the case that I mentioned, someone's on the beach. What exactly he should do is a bit of machlekes achreinim. Whether he should daven, he let's say he'll miss mincha. Okay, so you miss mincha. What are you going to do? You daven two myrifs. Or do we say no? This is a situation of einis, and therefore. As the Sheikh Mechaber Paskins, he would be allowed to daven. Um, he would be allowed, he, if he davened, but the Evid, he would be Yitzay. Continues the Mechaber in Siv Beis. Sarich la Azar Bishas Tfilo. You have to gird yourself when you daven. Afilo may usually avnate. Even if you're wearing a belt, Shaili Baray is Erevan, therefore, let's say you're wearing a long robe. Obviously, there are no undergarments. So you're wearing a long robe, so your heart doesn't see your Ereva, still you have to tie a belt on. So that so excuse me, I, I, let's say it better. Even though you're wearing a belt, so the belt separates in leave and erva, still there's a lacha to be less. We have to see what this means. Why? Because of a different halacha. Misham hikoin, a new halacha of hikoin, which dictates, even though halachically you fulfill the bare minimum requirement of what you're supposed to be wearing for davening, there's still an additional requirement of hikoin. All the other brachas, you don't need this belt, this chagura for. You're wearing pants. Says the So here comes on the Mishtabura in Sivkat and Dalid to explain exactly what is going on over here. What is this additional requirement? Says the Mishtabura, Tzarech, Ubediyavin and Mishav lo yezar, if you didn't do this, you're right. V'yesha, I'm your moment, and some say, Davka, Misha rogu layom b'chagura, it's only if you normally wear a belt. Misha hoi lekol layom b'loi chagura, ka misha tzfila in Tzarech lach, you don't need to wear this. Miyo midas chasidus ach b'chai gavna. And what this sounds like is a gartel. It sounds like a special baggage, a special uh, something is miyuchad l'tzfila. A higher additional requirement of hikoin, that what? The Midas Chasidus requires always to wear this article. We're going to see the Dirish in a moment. When you're down, you have to cover your head. You're not going to appear before the Shechina. Cover your head until your eyes are talismans. Quoting the Prima God. Now, obviously, people around there, you know, we don't, we don't wear the talus all the way down. We'll see what this means. Man de pak, man de 
Pokach Einoi Bishasi Lusa Makdim Ali Malcha Mavez Rechman Lassan Ein Simen Zadim Shtaburs of Katan Hey, but Shar Brachas of Katan Zayin Who had in Kriyish Mat Al Shaychi Kim Likros Al Kach Kim Shaymi Lanei Amelch. So this din of Hikoin is a special din of Shmaya Esrei. We're requiring more than normal. Mechlasayim of Katan Chas. Who had in Im Im. The God of Munach and Devukim Mamish Ala Beten, they're tight. We'll call this a waistband. They're tight on your stomach. Mavsikim be libra le erva. That as well fulfills the requirement. So requirement number one, which we've seen already in the past, that lathe can't see erva. So if you're wearing a long tunic, you need a belt. If you, or if you're wearing something with a waistband, that takes care of that requirement. Famously, Rabbi Shafainzi says a pair of underwear will take care of that requirement as well because it's a waistband pressing on your stomach and therefore the lathe boys is not raised erva. Therefore, Medina, you're allowed to dive Now there's a new additional higher your level requirement called Hikoin, in which the Mishnabur is teaching us that the Midas Chasidos is always to be makbid on this. So now, let's go right away, I don't know if we're going to finish this simon today, but right away, let's go look at Dirshu, note number five. It says Dirshu, Comments in Dirshu, one second. We just said there's a middle chassid to always have some sort of belt. Sounds like a gartel. Says the Dirshu, what do you mean? People don't do this. Explains the stipler as follows. And as well, Rosh Hashanah, that Tafka in their times, there was such a middle chassid. Why? Because when they went somewhere chashiv, they would put on this extra belt. So now there was a concept that when you're going to Davin, put on that same belt on that higher level of chasidus, because that's a mashlum the baggage. Some explained the bar was they didn't have buttons. So their garments were open, so they would pull it together with some sort of guards a belt. But, and that's why there's hikun. Whereas nowadays it's not true. Nowadays we have a button on our jacket, and therefore the requirement hikun of having an additional gartel would not apply, says or some zaman and stapler. Obviously, chasidim disagree. And they're coming from this simple reading of the Mishnah and the Shulchan Aruch that is a higher level of Hikain when it comes to Davin. And this is also the Makar that people like to have a begging Yuchad for Tfilah. This maybe also bolsters the Svara to wear a hat, as we're going to see other reasons. But now you have something special that there's a Hikain. You're coming to Davin Shwana, so you want to have a higher level of Ema as you're standing in front of Hashem. Some will perhaps button their jacket, some will even go and put in a tie, even though they don't wear a tie all day. And with that, we continue into Sif Gimel. Says the Machaber in Sif Gimel, Yeish Oimrin, there are those that say, Sha'azur, La Hoitzi Askarami Piv. You're not allowed to say Hashem's name. Be'erosh Megula, if you're not wearing a head covering, Yeish Oimrin, Sheish Lim Chosh, Lee Kanaz, Be'er Kanaz, Be'er Kanaz, You shouldn't even come into a shul with your head uncovered. Says the Mishnah Bura, Ayin Be'er Halacha. Mishnah Bura himself doesn't comment. He sends us to the Be'er Halacha. He sends us to the Bir Alacha. Um, and where is the Bir Alacha? I don't see it. Yish Aimrim, one second. Here it is. No, that's not the Bir Alacha. Yeah, that's the Bir Alacha. So, because no Mishnah Bura, with this we're going to conclude for today. Let's look at the Bir Alacha, which the Bir Alacha says, Yish Aimrim, she Yish Limchais. Should tell people not to come to Shul without their head covered. That which it says in Simon B, is that Vilu Bulias Kar of Shul is basically as Asalelech. Asks the Baralacha, what do you mean? We remember all the way back in Simon Bays, we learned that there's a basic requirement of a Yarmulka, of a Yare Malka, God's on top of us. We always have to wear a head covering. I in Bear Eight, if we're Primagodim Tiris, Primagodim answers. Over there, we're talking about Davka Dalar Amois when you're walking around. And over here, we're talking about even without walking, it's forbidden not to have a head covering. It's forbidden not to have your yarmulke or you keep buying Lausha, because I'm the Sham. Famous opinion of the Taz, and nowadays is a higher level of requirement. And that is the discussion. We're going to pick it up in Sif A, but definitely, you know, even for one that maybe isn't only at a place of wearing a yarmulke, certainly we're seeing that when it comes to Shul, certainly we're seeing when it comes to davening, a higher level that is required. And we'll pick it up from Sif Dal in the next year. Psiyata Dishmayo.